yes, you, you might debate climate change and global warming, but pollution, there, there's no debate. I mean, there is just absolutely no debate. And, and what's really interesting is like, we are in the middle of that experiment right now. Like if you, if you just sure. gone out there for the past couple of weeks and you, you see the change, right? And people are seeing some direct health benefits as well. So imagine if this, you know, if this environmental impact could last for years and decades, right? And that's, I mean, that's really what electrification is about. So in some ways, you know, this, this, this last six weeks have just really underscored what we are doing and how important that is. Right. So let's, let's assume that the financial investment is going to be there to continue with electrifying uh, transit fleets and school bus fleets and uh, uh, continue and incentivize electric vehicle purchases and such. Uh, how does electrify and how does your platform uh, help uh, either enable that transition or accelerate that transition? Yeah. And uh, I, we, we do both. So we, um, and, you know, as, sort of uh, as, a, as a startup sort of evolves, we've, we've evolved our product and thinking and solutions for the customers as well. So one of the things that we found was very interesting for our customers is even before any vehicles show up, can we help them with the transition plan? So can we look at their existing operations, how their fleet operates, routes, schedules, um, you know, what time vehicles come in, what, do they, what time do they leave, where the depots are located, and can we build a plan for them? So what we've done, uh, and we have a free service now that's on our website, where we run a, a, a transition uh, analysis for them, looking at specifically how their fleet operates. So energy rates and uh, the impact of, of weather conditions, things like that. So that, uh, what, what, interestingly, you know, we, we did that as a, as a free service and it's turned out to be a great source of marketing leads for us. So we have customers who run that uh, tool and come to us and say, hey, we've got something more specific. Can you help us out with this? So it's become a nice way for us to get you know, that first engagement going with customers. Uh, and the second part of it is, okay, when the vehicles actually show up, then we have a platform that works across uh, many different types of charging infrastructure. So uh, what's, uh, what we found from talking to customers is they're right now experimenting with a variety of charging infrastructure. So they're buying charging stations from a whole host of companies. They're buying vehicles from a whole host of companies and they want software to manage all of that. And so we found this really nice uh, sort of white space where a company like us can fit in and help uh, bring the pieces together. What's also interesting is that as this transition happens, it, I mean, if you step back and look at the scale of what's going to happen, right? This is a four or $5 trillion oil transition that will happen to electrification. And it's happening across the globe. So it's not just uh, in, in the US. I mean, in fact, I would argue Europe and a few other countries, specifically in Europe, are way ahead of the US in terms of electrification. But they're all struggling with the same common problems is there's this shift happening from oil to electron and how do you manage the transition? So it, it's becoming, uh, you know, what we are realizing is that from a fleet operations management company, we are getting into a bigger sort of, uh, a, a bigger scope of energy management. How do you move electrons from point A to point B in, in the most efficient manner? So it's, it's, a, it's a humongous market. It's really super dynamic. There's a lot of uncertainties, but you've chosen some starting points. Uh, uh, why don't you talk just a bit about what you're focusing on now? Yeah, so we... Uh, yeah, so we right now we focus specifically on electric vehicle fleets, uh, and 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 more specifically where the vehicles are showing up. So if you see what's happening for in, at schools, there's a lot of um, schools that are looking to electrify their fleets, and for the same reasons I articulated earlier, right? I mean, diesel and kids don't go together, and uh, um, we've seen like one of our flagship customers is a. Uh, is a school bus district in Sacramento called Twin Rivers Unified. Uh, they right now have about 35 electric vehicles. They are the largest electric fleet. And they are going to go all electric in the next two or three years, right? And so they, they've they sort of become a, a real interesting case study for a lot of other school districts. And so we've seen a lot of, a lot of momentum happening there. Uh, the same thing with um, uh, on the transit side. And I know Prospect has many projects uh, in, in the transit space. There's the same sort of analogy applying to, hey, the, you know, these are the, the nice sort of uh, application areas where electric, electrification makes complete sense because vehicles are there, the, 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 the fleet operation is aligned, and the customer benefit or the, you know, the, the passenger benefit is, is, is very obvious. So we are focusing on, on that, but we, you know, we expect to grow our platform out to, to, to a much bigger sort of 
more complex play than, than what is it right now. Got it. So you've recently uh, had a, a really successful uh, investment round uh, uh, for VC, uh, and you've been able to expand your team. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the, uh, uh, both about the investment and about the team? Yeah, so we've been incredibly lucky. We just closed our round before uh, you know, all, this, all this craziness happened. And um, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I would claim that it was very strategic, but uh, you know, there's a, as much as luck as, as strategy in this and the timing than, than anything else. Um, but what we've, uh, what we've seen and heard from our investors, so we, you know, we started our fundraise process about six, eight months ago, uh, you know, early talking to investors and um, uh, seeing what kinds of businesses they want to invest in. Uh, and, uh, and, and obviously from a VC standpoint, they're looking for something scalable. So uh, and there was a very good fit with what we, how we see the market as well. So we see ourselves as being a software player that can uh, work across many different uh, partners in the ecosystem, like charging station manufacturers, vehicle manufacturers, um, you know, energy companies, utilities. And so interestingly, we have a, a couple of utilities that have, all, that have also invested in, in this round indirectly. Uh, but uh, what we found through sort of a process of elimination is there, there is a, a very interesting set of investors that are looking at this space uh, very closely now, and they see this opportunity as this transition happens. And so we are, you know, we are lucky. We had, you know, we have five investors who participated in this round, and all of them share the, the same common vision. Although they came from some very independent perspectives, but they, they kind of bought our story. They like, of course, the, the team and, and the execution, and so they've really invested in. Okay, there's a big, big opportunity here, and there is a team that can actually execute and take advantage of this opportunity. And currently you're focusing on the California market. So interestingly, we started off in California because that's, that's where a lot of the vehicles are showing up, but now we're in deployment on the East coast as well. And uh, we've got a lot of interest outside the U S as well. So it's uh, a lot of it's just organic, you know, folks hearing about us through some forum, uh, through some trade show and then reaching out to us. And then suddenly you've got a deal in place. So uh, what's very encouraging to us is in spite of everything that's going on, we haven't lost a lot of momentum. Like we have customers who said, yes, give us a couple of weeks. We are just working through some, some, you know, some challenges right now. We'll be get back to you in the two weeks. And this week actually was really interesting. It's still Wednesday. And a lot of the customers who said we'll get back to you in two weeks or a month or whatever are now coming back. So this week, at least, uh, and you know, it's too, too early to declare victory yet, but I would say the lights are, seem to be coming back on this week. So we'll see if this momentum continues. That's really fantastic. So we're at time and we did say it was 15 minute break. So we're going to stick with that. This has been a great conversation with you. I really appreciate it. We're really grateful to what you're, what you're doing to bring another wave of technology to serve a, a really important human purpose. And uh, we thank everybody who's uh, joined us today. If you want to continue uh, this, we'll, we'll just stay in touch with us and we're going to be doing more of these as we go forward. So thanks everybody. Have an excellent day. Take care. Thank you everybody. Take care. Stay safe.